Good evening. Tucsonans are frequently waiting on hold when they call 911. The calls are usually being answered pretty quickly, but they regularly hold for minutes when callers want to talk to the police. Yes, News 4 Tucson Sam Salzweil has that investigation. I have the longest 911 wait times from last month. On the 26th, a caller was holding more than 15 minutes. Even a call that was considered a high priority emergency waited almost two minutes. I called 911 immediately and the bartender also called 911 and we were put on hold. This is video of Frank Silverman using a stun gun in his bar after a customer tried to fight. He says his 911 hold was about five minutes. When he was finally connected, he appreciated the quick response from Tucson police. When we call 911, we need help. And, and when it doesn't come or you put on hold, it, it's very frustrating. They said, I need to transfer you or I'm transferring you to emergency communications. And I said, okay. You have reached the Tucson Police Department's emergency communication call center. Stay on the line for the next available emergency call taker. Robert Welch said on February 6th, he called 911 to report an erratic driver. He was going uh, hell bent. Uh, eastbound the westbound lane. I thought he was being chased. He said he waited about three minutes. I never expected to to get into a queue on a 911 call. Uh, if uh, three minutes is is life and death. Last year on September 26th, a 911 call center employee wrote in an email: "Small child wandering alone on hold for six minutes. Man lying face down in the dirt on hold for over eight minutes. Breaking glass and people screaming." on hold nearly nine minutes. A physical fight, on hold nearly nine minutes. These are occurring daily. And on one call, the first thing I heard was a male screaming at me. What took you so long to answer? They're shooting at us. And he's not the only one. About three weeks later, an email was sent by a different employee. I know what it's like to come in on a day where short staffed and sit 911 with one other person while transferring to TPD, knowing each call will hold for minutes due to their low staffing as well. Some days we'll answer the 911 call and hear a fight or a domestic violence situation and transfer it on the priority line only to hear it ring and ring and ring. When I sit over at TPD and take calls there, it's very frustrating to try to provide good customer service while keeping the call as short as possible to be available for the next one because the queue is red. Then in December, the city council discussed changes at emergency services. We are uh, watching very closely uh, both the chemistry of the, you know, the dispatchers uh, and making sure that they have what they need. And, and quite frankly, they haven't. I had been privy to uh, concerns about people leaving uh, because of the pay that the city of Tucson had compared to other um, cities in the region. We have been working very diligently as a part of this consolidation to address some of those issues that they have. And, and quite frankly, the, the biggest one, although pay was mentioned, was getting additional staff to help them and, and cover them so they could take their time off. In that meeting, the council created this new department. They used to be employees of police and fire. Now they're all under a department that's independent. Ross Edelman took over this year after a long career in the military and private sector, then spending the past few years working for the city. 27 years Marine Corps, uh, retired colonel. Uh, my whole career was command control communications. He's trying to cross train more employees to reduce police weights. What can we do to make that stop happening now? <clears throat> What we can do to make this happen now is continue with our training track, continue with getting our supervisors more embedded on the floor, continue to uh, try to pinpoint down as those are occurring and see what we can do to get in front of it. I do know that the number of those kinds of, of long holds has decreased. Edelman says he has an 18 month plan. He's confident we'll make this one of the best emergency operations in the country. Are we gonna have five minute wait times 17 months from now still? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I don't <clears throat> I don't anticipate seeing that as we get near the end of, of the journey. Edelman said I should keep checking on the progress in his new department. That's an invitation I plan on accepting. The department is hiring with pay starting at $17.50 per hour. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email investigators at kvua.com or call 955-4444. Investigating for you, Sam Salzwedel, News 4 Tucson.